Hey y'all, this is Brandy from Southern Craft CIY and I'm going to say hey to all my returning viewers and I want to give a big welcome to any new viewers. So if you follow me on social media, which the links are down below, you'll have seen a list of everything needed for this project, which you can also get that list on the community tab. So, I'm going to try something. My husband brought this up before and I thought it would be a good idea to try it. Um, I want to make a sled. So I'm going to go ahead and give you everything. Uh, I we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go over what is needed and then we'll jump right into the project okay so what's needed for this project is paint you can pick whatever color you want I chose snow white by Waverly this is one of my absolute favorite paints I've said it before I will continue saying it I love this paint but I chose this you can pick any color you want like I said you're gonna need different size craft sticks these are a good size probably about medium I don't really know I don't have the packaging for these anymore but you need something about this size I'm gonna hold them up together so you can see and you'll need four of them and then you'll need two this size and like I said I'm gonna hold them up to each other but let me show you everything you're gonna need two of these and then two of the little big ones so see about how much difference in size they are from each other Here's where the little one is, here's where the ne the medium one is, and then the big one. So you need something around that. You can also go bigger, smaller, th but these are the sizes I'm going to use. And then you're also going to need some Christmas ribbon. And I went with my little peppermint stripe, candy cane stripe. You're going to need scissors and miter shears. If you don't have miter shears, scissors will probably do the job but I do have miter shears so I'm gonna do that you're gonna need a pencil some glue I'm gonna use hot glue and then you'll actually need you'll also need a paintbrush I didn't put that down there but anytime you paint you're going to need a paintbrush or something to put the paint on the stuff all right y'all let's get started all right y'all so this is what I'm going to attempt to do I don't want to glue them together until I'm done with everything but I'm gonna attempt to make a shape out of these. Oops. I'm sorry, y'all. And I'm going to try to get it as even as I can. And if I can't, oh well. I'm not perfect. Alright. So that's what I'm going to do. I don't know how great it looks. It's fine. Whatever. Now I'm going to cut out the marks. Let me show you just from one what I drew just in case you can't see. I drew here and I drew there and I did a like a half circle. Whatever. And I'm just going to cut them out. I don't know how great they are. It is what it is. I don't have the tools to do it. I freehand most of my stuff. I just feel... It works better, but you can always use tools to help you freehand it better. But I'm going to go ahead and cut these out and see how it goes. So I decided I'm not going to use the miter shears because I try, it kind of goes at an angle, at a curve, and I don't want to mess it up. So I'm going to use my scissors, and it should be fine, like I said, because these are not very thick. So... I'm just going to cut where I have it and go from there. And hope I get it close enough to a match. I wish I had the tools to do everything the way that I really want to do it. But unfortunately, I don't. I make no money off of this channel this is just stuff that I like to do and I don't sell my stuff right now right now I give it away so I just gotta do it this way all right so there it is 
it's a little off. I'm going to have to cut this. I cut it in the wrong spot, as you can see. It's fine. I'll just go back and fix it. Alright. It's not perfect. Oh, I'm way off. I cut this one. I'm going to recut this one because I cut it too much, I think. Oh, no. It's not too, too bad. Just a little bit more. Okay. I didn't have it down far enough. I'm sorry, y'all. Alright. Let's see if that worked. This is literally something I am doing by hand. Let me come here and fix this just a little bit. Yeah, let me fix this. And if you mess up, just do what I'm doing. Just try to trim it and get it where it lines up right. It's not going to be perfect unless you have all the tools needed which I do not <laughs> but I still think this will be a pretty cool idea so I'm not hating on it so and then you can take a sandpaper which I didn't mention and you can try to round them off more if you want but there is the basic shape of my sled all right y'all the next step is really really simple I'm painting all these pieces first before I glue them all together and like I said, I'm going to go with white because that's just the color that I picked. And I'm going to paint the whole things, front, sides, and backs. Y'all know the setup. I do this every time. I don't think I'm ever going to change because even when I think I'm not going to do it, I end up doing it anyways. So... Now, the reason why I tell y'all y'all could pick the color y'all want is because this is a Christmas sleigh, and I picked this color just because I figured if you're able to put anything on it, which you should be able to as long as it's not heavy, the white will make whatever you put on it pop. So that was my thought on this. That's like when I showed y'all the pre-made sleigh just because it popped in my head and I had it and I wanted to buy it. Um, I went with a darker gray a gray a dull color because it would make anything you put on it pop unless you put gray on it just like unless you put white on this but you get what I'm saying now I love doing this kind of stuff I don't know how good I am at it but I was raised in the day that when you had no money when you were a kid you made things to give to your parents or friends or grandparents or siblings just because you did not have the money to buy it so I am from that school of thought you don't have to buy it for it to be a great, great gift I'm sorry I just cannot talk a lot of people prefer the homemade because you put time and effort into making it for them and it's 100% unique. No one else is going to have that gift because you made that for them. It's not store bought. So think about that when you're doing gifts for people and you think you may not do the best. It is always the thought that counts and no one else in the world will ever have what you made that person.
All right, y'all, so it's dry, and the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna glue the pieces together, and I'm gonna use hot glue because I'm lazy, I'm not gonna lie. It's fast, it'll get the job done. If I don't take forever. Yeah, I took too long, I'm sorry, y'all. Just remember, when you're using hot glue, you gotta be fast. I'm a slow poke, sometimes. Try this again. Sorry. It was, I did it right this time, but I got it a little off and I don't want it off. I'm gonna make this look nice. If it kills me, which it just might. So, let me. Try again. Try number three should work. I hope. Alright. It worked that time. Now, this is just simple hot glue, so I don't know how sturdy it'll be. If you're worried about sturdiness, you can always, instead of doing it like this, you can take little pieces and do like that, which I might even go back and do. But for now, I just want to show y'all how to do this, what it's supposed to look like. So, we're just adding the glue. And then stick them together. Yeah, I think I'm going to go back and I'm going to do it the other way. Just to be a little bit more sturdy. <laughs> so, that's how it's going to look. But let me show Let me do it the other way. Alright, y'all. I took it apart. I'm going to do it one more time with the glue. And the added pieces. So, bear with me. While I do this. not perfect at this I just I have a way I want it to look I'm trying to get to look that way <laughs> and I'm probably gonna go back over and paint it white I mean I'm not gonna show y'all because you already know what it look what to do but because I've messed this up and it's a little dirty and iffy looking when I get done I'm probably gonna go back over and paint it white again just to try to clean it up a little. Just for me. For the finished product. But I mean, I already showed y'all what it looked like painting it white. So, alright. So I did that. Now, I'm going to take these and I'm going to glue them like this just to give it a little extra support, okay? And I didn't paint this back part of it because it's going to be glued down so you're not going to see it. So it's not a huge deal that it's not painted. And like I said, this is just to give it a little extra stability. See? It's got a little extra stability now. So, now the next step is a little bit harder to do. I'm going to be gluing these on here. I think I'm going to glue it like this up against these just to give it a little more protection. To help give it a little more uh, stability. 
Now, y'all don't have to do this part if you don't want to. Because I didn't factor that in. I get an idea how I want to do it. And if it doesn't work out, then I'll go and do other stuff just to help. But this wasn't factored in. So you don't have to do this. It'll still work. It just won't be as stable. So. I'm going to put glue there. And I'll drop my thing. And then I'm going to glue this there. And I'm going to lift it down when I meant to. But as long as I get it even, it should be fine. I'm not perfect with this stuff. Okay, so that's a little more st stable. And then the last step literally is I'm going to take these and these are going to be the runners for the sled. trying to get them even but literally there you go look at that well it's not the last step the last step putting t that together is that there you go literally it is a sleigh I think it came out looking really good I might have got one runner further up than the other I did but it'll be fine it's not perfect so the last step is actually this so the ribbon so we're about to do that now so what you're going to do is you're going to take some ribbon. You don't want too, too much of it because it's not a big sleigh. And you're going to cut it in half. And then what I'm, I mean, not cut it in half. You're going to cut the piece off. And then what I'm going to do is I want to fold it over. So that's what I'm doing. I'm adding the glue. And I'm folding it over like so. I'm going to keep doing it all the way from one end to the other. And I don't know why I never thought of this before when I was doing stuff like this, but I really like this idea when it popped in my head like literally a few minutes ago. I will show you when it's done. Do the last little bit. No, in half. Alright. So there it is. In half. Both sides, you can see. It makes it where... To me, I feel like it makes it where... Um... You'll be able to see the pattern on the ribbon better. And then the last step is literally I'm going to glue it down onto the, which I probably should have done this before I put the little runners, but it's fine. I'm going to glue it on there. And it's like the little pull rope for the sled. And I think it is so cute. Look at that. So that is literally it for this project. I had so much fun making it. I hope y'all enjoyed it too. Like I said, I'm going to go back over. I'm going to do another layer of white on top. Just to cover up anything that I feel doesn't look good. But... I enjoyed making this project. Like I said, I hope y'all enjoyed watching it. If y'all did, please, please, please like, share, subscribe, and comment down below because it does help my channel grow and it lets me know y'all enjoying this. And with the comments, if you have any suggestions on what I could have done different or anything else, don't hesitate to comment. All right, I'll see y'all next time. Bye.